Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play UFO Extraterrestrials 2, Battle for Mercury, or UFO 2 Extraterrestrials actually. We've just finished another mission, our second mission so far, another uh, recon UFO, and it was quite successful. Only like a couple wounded soldiers, but nothing major. Uh, let's actually see. Actually, no one was wounded, so uh, I guess, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> That is good. That is very good. Okay. We still have Stickman Sticky over here. Uh, but I kind of want to probably start using him for perhaps larger UFOs. But the problem is, it takes up four spaces, which means you get left with four people, uh, four soldiers, and then a tank. It's a huge investment. And considering this thing has only 82 AP, it's got about double the health. And really not that much more protection, to be honest. It does have chemical fire and freeze protection more than the others, but not that much more chemical, uh, mechanical protection, which is a bit odd. So, oh well. Anyway, we're researching photon technology, which hopefully will allow us to make some nifty weapons. We'll see about that. What is my money? Okay, 425, 400, main base. Okay, workshop is complete. Now, let's see if this actually allows us yes it does okay so getting more technicians and scientists is based on uh based on this how many how many buildings you build so that's going to be quite expensive but i'm happy with that i might want to build even more workshops it's only 180 uh it builds pretty quickly and we'll be able to make some money off of it i suppose okay Let's keep going. Medkit produced. All right, let's see. Very good Russian Federation, Asian Syndicate poor. So there's something going on there. Excellent for the African coalition. So they're increasing the funding. So three million. Well, that's not bad. Uh, that's our expenses. Uh, ships, bases, subtotal, and then soldiers, scientists. Okay. Yeah, gotta remember that the uh, scientists and technicians, of course, also cost every month uh, so our profit was 2.3 million that's not too bad so we have some extra money now still not enough to make an additional laboratory that's quite expensive I might want to actually um, get my money up for that or save up ah potent technology let's see while it has been long established that conventional electromagnetic waves, including light, that have been used in human technology, retain characteristics of both particles and light, it was not until we saw alien technology that humanity learned the true potential hidden behind utilizing these particle-like properties. These particles of light, known as photons, found a prolific use in alien engineering. It has been discovered that the alien weapons based on photon technology employ crystals of a special structure, capable of converting low-frequency waves of sufficient intensity into high-density, ultra-short wavelength coherent clusters, where particles' behavior clearly prevails. These are aimed to increase the lethality and combat potential of the ray while keeping the power source expenses reasonably low. The ultimate characteristics of such a photon cluster are astonishing. The ray is of high intensity and can penetrate most personal shields. The effects of a direct hit upon an organic target are lethal, while an adjacent target can sustain a considerable dose of radiation. Uh, deleterious effects upon electronics are also worth noting. Okay, so now we can do photon grenades and beamer, personal weapon. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that first. And then we'll... Uh, to the recon vessel, alien fibers, probably for the armors, and so on. So, off we go. Lots of medkit produced. Okay, now we can produce the personal shields, which are also going to be quite expensive to make. A whole million for that. But we'll also be able to, uh... uh to sell stuff. Alright, so, is it going away? Yes, it is going away. Oh, they actually completely destroyed it. I guess it was above water. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, workshop has been completed. Yet another one. There we go. So now we can produce stuff faster. Another alien recon vessel. Oh, that's far away. 
Yeah, I do wish they would, uh, they would land. Where is it going? Well, actually... I don't want them to fight it there. Because that's over land. I mean, over water. There we go. That looks good. Okay. Alright, so now... We have to actually put all the extra stuff we've made. Like the personal shields. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, these things are quite big, actually. Yeah. Let's take this away. The grenades. Like so, so two shields. I don't know if that's going to be enough or not. Uh, where's one big fat guy? Hmm. Instead of all this stuff, you could just be a bit of a brute here. Unfortunately, I can only put three shields here. Uh, nothing else. That's already too much. What if I do it like this? Still too much. I mean, it only takes two... Well, it takes two action points away. That's not a huge deal. And honestly, I never really use these grenades, so I, I suppose I might as well take them away for now. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Poonam also will be overloaded. There. Well, he can have one shield. I do want to keep some medkits around, though. Yeah, we'll need to... Uh well... We do lose a few, but you know what? I'm gonna keep it like this. We do need to work on that strength training. Oof. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so for now, I think that's good. She's really strong, Millhouse. She's the strongest one, right? Yeah. Um, okay. And we can also sell some of this stuff. Medkits sell for 63,000. Hmm. How does this combat armor... Do they not have armor? Um, how do I check that? Uh, change armor. No? Huh? They do have this armor. So I have quite a lot of that armor, actually. Um, I could just sell some of the stuff. Oh, there's the alien artifacts. There's the mortar bombs. Yeah, it's all right. It's not great, but oh, well. right. Let's uh, intercept. That all looks good. Launch before it's dark, of course. Begin. Again, something <laughs> went boom. Okay, so in the, we're in the very corner, and that's pretty cool. You, you can see the shields now. Uh, do I really want to peek out already? Oh, it's a farm. Okay. I like it. Yeah, let's just go. All, oh. Where do you see an alien? Oh, it's on, he's on top of that building. All right, let's go like this. I wish I had, like, a sniper or someone... That could actually shoot that. Because that's far away. You know, that's not really going to do much. I mean, I suppose if I really spent a lot of time units trying to hit that thing, we might have been able to do it. But otherwise, I doubt it. It would probably just be a waste of time units. Nothing here, huh? Yeah, having, having that many extra time units is really nice. All right, let's send my heavies over here. Well, I suppose I'll call them heavies considering they've got shields. Uh, let's send somewhere around here as well. Let's check this side. Kyle is going to do that. Bean Boy is going to join you over here. Uh, hmm. Control... Control. 
It's gonna go here. And Millhouse. Alright. End the turn. Oh, door's opening. Oh, something went on the left. That's kind of creepy. Chemical Live has so much, so many time units now, he can really run far, and I have to be careful. I don't run him too far ahead of the group. Because there is something there, I think. That's a cool looking sort of combine harvester. <clears throat> right, Bean Boy, go and help him out. And now let's see what happened to that alien. That Enloth or whatever they're called. I have to remember the names. Nothing yet, huh? Uh, let's bring everyone else here. Unam. And one big fat guy. And of course, down here, we've got Kyle McFiker, who's going to flank this place. See if he can find out oh, anything. And he does. That guy. Okay. Look at this place. This is pretty nice. Mm. Does he have a line of sight here? No, he doesn't. You're going to stay over here for now. Probably going to get spotted by that alien. But it seems like the majority of this mission is going to take place around here in that building and over there as well. Ah, that door opens. Yeah, so there are aliens there as well, of course. Uh, I think we're all ready. Chemical life could still move a little forward, but there's aliens there, so I'm not going to risk it. Despite the shield. Oh, what was that? Yeah, okay, it's one of those. Still don't know what these guys do. They can move very far if they want to. Most of the times they don't. But I'm guessing they've got, like, melee attacks? All right. You got plenty of time. Oh, he's looking at you. You got plenty of time units, so. Why don't we just go here and pump him full of bullets? Don't miss. Mm, that wasn't much. Come on. There we go. <coughs> Excellent. <coughs> see what else we can see? Right, what were these aliens? There's one floating here. I suppose I cannot shoot him from here. No, that's in the line of sight. This should be okay though, but it's pretty far away and there's the UFO. Uh, why don't you crouch and then get a 53% chance to... Ah, man. That is a shame. No, that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. I'm assuming you're not going to hit your buddy there. And I'm assuming wrong, because you will. 32, okay, crouch as well. And a 44. Nice. How much was that? One mechanical damage. I have no idea how that damage is calculated, because it just seems like a lot of the times it's just one, and that's it. Oh so, yeah, not really sure how that works. I like the sound of the wooden boards. Sounds pretty nice. Alright, do you see this guy up here? No, not necessarily. Hmm. How do I get a good shot on him? I wonder from down here. Maybe it's not even possible. I wonder if they can jump down. That'd be kind of scary. Can you see through the window? Uh, I guess not. Alright. Let's see if they get closer. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, that's gonna do it. We can kill you from there. Come closer. Um... 53 and 57, but that's blocked. Let's try the 53. Come on. Oh, man. <sighs> that sucks. That's also blocked, of course. Oh, wait. I wasn't even firing at the guy or at the alien. I was actually firing into an empty spot. That's annoying. Nice. One damage? No, nine damage. And then, well, we can try a 21%. And it's actually going to hit. Nice. All right, so. Let's check this area. Once you have an, uh, a soldier moving, it seems to be impossible to actually stop him. It's kind of annoying. Oh, wait, there was an alien. Oh, there's an alien right there. I know there's no line of fire. I just want you to fire through there. Oh, now he's just firing into the ground. Oh, that's really annoying. Yeah, there's no way to stop the soldiers from moving, I don't think. Unless... Let's see if I do it like this. No line of fire. Hmm. Ah, well, you might take some damage, Chemical Life, or you might lose your shields, we'll see. Now, let's deal with this guy here. Only 35. There we go. What about that one all the way over there? Eh, 33. Why not? Not bad. <coughs> Excellent. Let's see what else is in here. I like these places. Yeah, the right click to turn a soldier is very sort of finicky. Sometimes it works. A lot of the times it doesn't want to work. I think it's because the game is still doing like an animation or something. Oh, well, there's the stairs. Come on. Yeah, right click is very, very finicky. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oof, that's not good. Uh, we do have kind of a solution here, but I'm guessing it's not going to work because it's just going to say no line of sight. How do I destroy this? Let's see. Like this? No line of fire. Please? Um, let me just. Oh, man. Okay, please kill him. Oh, come on! And now he's gonna fire. Of course he is. Not enough timing. It's... I... Well, that was lucky. That's really annoying. I have to... I have to look up how to do... How to force fire, because this is just not gonna work. Not having the ability to force fire th like that is a big problem. Yeah, what is she gonna do? Huh. Where you go? Okay, he's there. Why why such low percentages? There we go. 74. Much better. There we go. Okay, there's still another Nutel. Up there, how do we actually go up? I probably shouldn't be doing this because I cannot stop him. Wait, what if I do space? Escape? No, no escape, just goes into the main menu. Oh. There's another one there. 33. Hmm. Hmm. So, auto shot is 19. Do I dare? 37 only? Yeah. 
Excellent. What? <sighs> Excellent. <sighs> oh yeah, I really gotta remember where I click. As a, I mean, be careful where I click because no cancel. I think we just have to get that guy at the top of the roof. Uh, I believe we've dealt with everything else, if I'm not mistaken. Just gonna move people up here a bit. And the turn. Yeah, that was... Oh! What was that? No da Ah, there he is. Yep. Oh, that could be bad. Wait, why did he die? Something died. I have no idea what happened, but something died. <laughs> Excellent, that was it. No wounded, no lost soldiers. And Control Troll is now a private. Hunem is now a private first class. Kyle McMichael is private first class. Hugh Target Jazz is private first class. And One Big Fat Guy is now a private. Excellent. All right, more agility. We'll also need strength. Yeah, definitely, but look at that. That's going to be a lot of time units. And they really come in handy. Alright, man, I'm, I'm starving. I'm so freaking hungry. Photon Beamer, there we go. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking thing. The Photon Beamer is a personal weapon based on photon technology, employing a crystal of centrosymmetric structure capable of converting low frequency waves of sufficient intensity into high density ultra short wavelength coherent clusters. A cl the crystal, essential part of the photon beamer, is made of a mineral of an extraterrestrial origin, unfortunately not replaceable with any terrestrial mineral. And let's face it, without the crystal, the photon beamer cannot be manufactured. A high-capacity energy accumulator located in the lower part of the weapon, embedded in the front grip handle, supplies the photon beamer with energy sufficient for a decent amount of shots. All attempts to reproduce the high-capacity energy ac accumulator fails despite detailed examination of its construction and composition. Unfortunately, the contemporary terrestrial miniaturization level doesn't enable us construction of a high-capacity accumulator in the size of a common rifle magazine. The magazines that uh, CAFs loot on the uh, missions are the only ones available for their photon beamers. Okay, interesting. So, uh... Can't really make our own ammunition. Interesting. Damage 70 instead of 50 for the rifle, so that's not bad. Um, right, photon cannon, ship cannon. Nice. Let's, uh, let's research these guys first. Uh, so I cannot do anything here, right? Yeah. Alright. 99%. Oh yeah, for the, uh, for the bombs. Personal shields produced, lots of them. Alien recon vessel. Oh, and it's actually landed. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get there in time. That's, uh, far away. Uh, well, there's a photon beamer. Minimum strength 35, damage 70. Hmm... Let's, let me actually check. So the AK-1 has pretty good... Wait, where's... Oh, Photon Beamer. Okay, so this, this Photon Beamer is a lot less accurate. Unfortunately. So I think we'll be keeping the... The guns for now. Yeah. So, I'm going to send the Argo here. It is going to be a night mission, unfortunately. And I might also send the two interceptors here. To try and intercept this thing if it does... Oh, yeah, there he goes. Uh, yeah, we're not, yeah, we're not gonna... Backing lost. Return to base. Unfortunately. Oh, well. Personal shield is finished. That's gotta be done in 10 hours. I might start selling stuff. Uh, 
Oh, there's the photon beamers, and we have quite a lot of them, in fact. I'm gonna send some, uh, sell some of them. Sell the defensive grenades because I really am not using them to be honest. Stimpaks, I'm gonna keep for now. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the stimpaks for now. Personal shields, I can sell a few, I suppose. Raven. Okay. What was that, half a million? I think it was about half a million. There's a recon vessel. It doesn't look like they wanted to land. Alright, let's wait until daytime and then intercept. Launch. Okay. No, no, I'm bad. I hate the fact that the return to base is on the right side. I'm used, I'm used to the right buttons being okay and yes and... <laughs> Alright. Alright, well, there we go. Something exploded again. Thank you so much for watching. I am starving. I need to go eat something. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, a big thank you to my Patreons, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.